Hey everyone, Rodrigo Silvera here with another JavaScript tutorial. And in this video, I will teach you all about closures. So the first question you may ask is, what is a closure? A closure is nothing more than a function that has a reference to a private variable. So let me explain. Suppose we have a function, and we'll just call it person. Uh, so this function can be used as a constructor function. So inside this function, we have this variable name that takes a string name. Now if we say something like var me equals new person, and note that the use of new in a constructor function doesn't have anything to do with closures necessarily. But if we instantiate this person class, now me has a is an object of type person and has a an attribute name. So we can say me.name and it's my name right there. And that is because the string or the variable name, which happens to be a string, is an attribute of this object. Now, if we go back to the class definition and we change this to a, func a variable name, this variable only exists in the scope of this function. So this function, after it executes, even if we call a new one, it, it will return undefined. And that's why we see this undefined over here. However, if we do a var new or var me equals new person, and now me is still an object type person, but we don't see the attribute name. Even if we try to say me.name, it doesn't exist. And that is because this variable is out of scope at this point over here. So we don't have a way to access that. So a closure, what it is, is if this function somehow, even after it returns, we still have some way to access the variable name. And what we can do is create a function. So in this case, I created a function called uh, getName, which is a property of person. And this function will return name, which refers to this variable. And in fact, just to make things clear, we're going to rename all these names here variables uh, so this one will have an underscore like that so p name is a parameter name and then underscore var or underscore name rather is a var uh, which is just a convention in JavaScript to kind of indicate a, a private variable so this will be out of scope after the function returns except this other function now this or get name this dot get name still has a reference to underscore name. So after the function returns, this outer function person, uh, this will not be out of scope because there is a reference to it through this function. So this variable will not be garbage collected and we're still going to have access to it through the function get name. So if we try to redo var me equals new person Rodrigo, again, uh, the only property in me is get name, which is a function. However, if we call the function get name, it will return this variable, which when we instantiated here it was Rodrigo. And there it is. So that's a closure in simple terms. A function that has access to a private, sometimes this is, re is referred to as a free variable. Um, so that's what the closure is, is the, this function that has access to this variable just like that so if you have any questions about this or if something that I explained wasn't clear post your questions with the video uh, if you like the video I would ask that you like it and possibly share it so other people can know more about closures and you can support me that way and as always uh, I would ask you also to be sure to subscribe to our channel thank you very much and I will see you next time